Hi! So for today's video, we will be finding the area of a specified z-score. So meron tayong given na z-score. You are just we are just gonna look for the area of the given z-score. Now, ano pong gagamitin natin to identify the area of the specified z-score? We will be using a z-table. Now, you can use any z-table Now, um, as long as you understand that that table may be, may differ sa iba. Pero not in a sense na iba talaga yung values nila. Iba lang yung pagkakakonstruct. Okay, so for today's video, ang gagamitin ko na Z-table is this. Um, this one. Okay, this is the Z-table that I got. Now, this table and the, the table entries for Z is the area under the Z, under the standard normal curve to the left of the Z. Okay, so let's have a few examples for this one before proceeding to the actual example na I prepared. So, ang gagawin natin is paano ba gamitin tong z-table? How to look for the, the area given the z-score? Sige. So, say for example, meron kang z-score and then the z-score is equal to negative 3 point mm, say 24 negative 3.24 now ano bang dapat mong unang gawin you must look for the first two digits eto na mga digits the negative 3.2 dito sa first column natin now upon looking mahanap natin siya dito so, these are the values under the negative 3.2. Ngayon, what is the sense of 4 ba? Yang 4, hahanapin mo, hahanapin mo yan siya sa itaas. Sa topmost. Ayan. When looking, ito ang 0 0.4. Now, we will look for the intersection of the negative 3.2 and the 0 0.04. Intersecting, the answer is this. Yeah. Therefore, we can say that the area under um, the negative 3.24 is equal to 0 0.0006. And that is equal to 0.06%. Yeah. Another example. Gamitin natin ang positive values. For the positive values, same pa rin ang process on looking for the value of the Z. Sige. Say, for example, the value is Z equals, equals 2.87. That is Z equals 2.87. Now, same process. Hanapin mo yung first two digits. First two digit natin is the 2.8. So 2.8 is somewhere, oopsie, 2.8 is somewhere here. Ayan siya. Ito, 2.8. And then hanapin mo naman si 7. Sa so 0.07. Now, Ngayon, hanapin natin siya. Sige muna ha. Ito siya. Here is the line for um, the 0 0.07 para mahanap na lang natin mamaya. Ito siya sa baba. Ayan. So, ngayon, mahahanap na natin siya. This is the value for the Z equals 2.87. That is equal to 99.79%. Ayan. Another example. 
May example tayo na malapit lang sa values sa taas. Ito. Okay. Say Z is equal to 1.99. Z equals 1.99. Same process. Hanapin natin yung first two digits. So we have 1.9. 1.9 is here. So, dito sa banda, straight, straight, straight. Assuming na straight yan. And then, the last digit is 9. So, um, upon checking, ito siya, 0 0.09. Get the intersection of the two numbers. Therefore, this is the value of the 1.99 na z-score. Therefore, the area under that z-score is... 97 point okay 97.67 percent and that's it kanyan ang gagawin natin every time na you are tasked to look for the area under the z uh yeah under the standard um normal distribution using a z score so ngayon i hope you understand kung paano siya gawin because I will be giving you examples kung paano, um, kung paano siya gamitin. Sige. Okay, so let's continue. Example number one, determine the area to the left given that Z is equal to 2.2, Z is equal to 2.24. Now, you are to draw the curve and shade the area under the Z. All right. So, sige. Assuming um, na meron ka ng layout ng normal distribution, the standard normal distribution for the Z. So, ito siya dapat. Ito yung usual talaga na form. Ito, not the usual. Ito talaga dapat yung area under the Z, under Z. Ngayon, we are to, to determine the area, man. And we are to shade the area under the Z. So, ito siya. Okay. The given value, Z is equal to 2.24. Now, if we locate that one sa ating table, uh, I mean sa ating curve, 2.24 is around in this area. 2.24. This is not precise, but yeah. Say that is 2.24. Ngayon, area to the left. Asan ba yung left side? Left side is this way. Tama? Now, you are to shade all this, this part. And you shade mo dito... Dito, 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 dito. And all this area, and this part. So, bali, ang gagawin mo, talaga dapat is, is shade mo siya. Dapat wala kang makikita na white na area dito sa left na given na z-score. Ang kaso, it would take me a lot of time if gagawin ko yon kung ganito siya. So, please remember na dapat mo shaded, fully shaded talaga siya. Ito siya. Ayan. Ayan. Fully shaded siya. Now, the question is, what is the area of the shaded region ba? Ilan ba yan? Hmm. So, how are we going to identify the, the value of that area? You are to use the Z table. Now, try to use the Z table. Let's proceed. Hanapin natin yung sa Z-table. Sa the value na hahanapin natin is positive 2.24. So ngayon, asa na ang 2.24? This is 2.2. Para makita natin. 2.24. This is the 2.2. 2.2 and then 2.04 so andito siya banda 
This is it. The area is equal to 0 0.9875. So, ang ibig sabihin, dun sa na-shade ko na area sa region, the shaded region is equal to 98.75%. Remember, ha? Um, hahanapin natin kung asan banda si Z equals 2.24. We are to locate that one. Assuming na dito si 2.24, you are to shade the area to the left kasi left yung given. Ayan. And you must shade it in full. Like if you have crayons or any coloring materials, you can use that one para fully shaded talaga siya. Ito siya. Yan. Sorry, nalapas. Okay. So, yan. That is for example number one, everyone. I hope you understand this one. Now, let's have another example. Okay. Do you mean the area to the right given the Z is equal to 2.02? By the way, kanina, um, madali lang natin nahanap ang area to the left kasi yung table natin is area to the left of Z. Now, this one is different kasi the area to the right naman of the Z. So please watch this. I mean, listen carefully to understand how to get the area to the right of the given Z. All right. Okay. Now, first things first, you need to have a visual, um, I mean, a graph or the curve para ma-identify natin kung asan ba dapat yung hahanapin natin. This is the standard normal curve. Let's locate the 2.02. 2.02 is around this area. Ayan. 2... That is 2.02. 0 02. And then we are to shade the area to the right of the given Z. Asan ba yung to the right? Here. You are to shade this part. Ito lang yung shade mo na part. Then remember to fully shade it. Now... Use your Z table. Look for the value of the 2.02. And then, so guess, hanapin natin sa Z table. 2.02. Ah, sana siya. 2.02 is around this area. 2.0. And then, 2. So, the area is equal to 97.83%. Yun ang question. Is yun na ba talaga yung answer? Subukan natin ha. Here, the area is equal to 0 0.9783. Ang kaso, our table is based on the area to the left. Ngayon, the area that we are looking is to the right of the given Z. So, ang gagawin natin is ganito. Based on the table of areas under the standard normal distribution, the area to the left given to the left given Z is equal to 2.02 is 0 0.9783. Yun yung nahanap natin. Pero that is to the left man of Z. To solve its area to the right, you have this formula. 1 minus area of Z to the left. That is the value of your area to the right. Now, 1 minus area of Z to the left, our area to the left is 0. Point, oopsie, 0. 0.9783. So, ang nangyari, we have this solution. 1 minus 0. 0.9783 is equal to 0. 0.0217. Now, let's check if fit ba siya. Diba? Upon locating, 0.02 is around this area. 
2.02. And we shaded this part to the left man of Z. If to the right, I mean to the to the right man of Z. If to the right, the value, the area under the normal curve is 2.17%. And that is the answer that we are looking for. Yung nahanap natin sa Z table na 97.83%. That is the area to the left of the given Z score. Ang kaso nga, the given problem or the given example is we are looking for the area to the right of the given Z. So kaya yan, the answer is 2.17%. So I hope you understand this one. If you're kind of struggling, just comment down below and I will try to respond to you. Thank you. So yeah, let's have the last item, last example. Kung sa first example natin, we are looking for the area to the left, the given Z. Then for the second example, area to the right of the given Z. For our third example, we are trying to figure out the area between two Z scores. Determine the area between Z equals negative 2.18 and Z equals 1.44. First, you have your um, normal curve, the standard normal curve. You are to locate the Z scores. You have negative 2.18 dito siya. And then you have also 1.44. Say dito siya. Negative 2.18. Sa kabila naman is 1.44. Ngayon, area between the Z's man. So we are to shade the area between the two Z's. Shade, shade, shade. This one. Ayan. Okay. Assuming na fully shaded siya, wala siyang lagpas-lagpas, that's it. Ngayon, what is the area ba of the shaded region? What is the area of uh, between the Z equals negative 2.18 and Z equals 1.44? Okay. Now, your first... The first thing that you must do is to look for um, the value of negative 2.4, I mean 18, and the value of Z equals 1.44 sa Z table. Sige, hanapin nyo. Okay. Now, assuming na nahanap nyo na, you are to follow this one. You can pause this video if you still are struggling to look for the area for the two, two Z scores. Assuming that you have it, using the table of areas under the standard normal distribution, the area under Z equals negative 18 is 0 0.0148, a 46. And for Z equals 1.44, the area is 0 0.9. Two five one. Now, to solve for the area between the two Z scores, you are to subtract this, the, 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 the areas. So you have 0 0.9251 minus 0 0.0146. And the answer is 0 0.9105. Therefore, we say that the area between Z equals negative 2.18 and Z equals 1.44 is equal to 91.05%. And that's it. That is um, the steps 
for for in determining the area between the two z scores so i hope you understand this video and if you have any questions or clarifications you are free to comment down below thank you and thank you and god bless so see you in the next vid thank you so much and sayonara thanks